Hello and welcome to God's Minute. I'm Pastor Jonathan Conrad and I am the senior pastor at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Wilmington, North Carolina. And we continue our look at the book of Habakkuk for today. O Lord, I have heard of your renown and I stand in awe, O Lord, of your work. In our own time, revive it. In our own time, make it known. In wrath, may you remember mercy. God came from Timon, the Holy One from Mount Paran. His glory covered the heavens and the earth was full of his praise. The brightness was like the sun. Rays came forth from his hand where his power lay hidden. Before him went pestilence and plague followed close behind. He stopped and shook the earth. He looked and made the nations tremble. The eternal mountains were shattered. Along his ancient pathways, the everlasting hills sank low. I saw the tents of Cushan under affliction. The tent curtains of the land of Midian trembled. Was your wrath against the rivers, O Lord, or your anger against the rivers, or your rage against the sea, when you drove your horses, your chariots, to victory? You brandished your naked bow, sated were the arrows at your feet. You brandished your naked bow, sated were the arrows at your command. You split the earth with rivers. The mountains saw you and writhed. A torrent of water swept by. The deep gave voice. The deep gave forth its voice. The sun raised high its hands. The moon stood still in its exalted place at the light of your arrows speeding by, at the gleam of your flashing spear. In fury you trod the earth. In anger you trampled nations. You came forth to save your people, to save your anointed. You crushed the head of the wicked house, laying it bare from foundation to roof. You pierced with their own arrows the head of his warriors who came like a whirlwind to scatter us, gloating as if ready to devour the poor who were in hiding. You trampled the sea with your horses, turning the mighty waters. I hear and tremble within. My lips quiver at the sound. Rottenness enters into my bones, and my steps tremble beneath me. I wait quietly for the day of calamity to come upon the people who attack us. Hello, customer service. I yes, I will go on hold again. Thank you. I'm all out of love. I'm so, oh, hello again. Hi, I'm back with customer service, but this time I'm not calling for a complaint. I am calling to give a review. In fact, I'm going to put my phone down because I want to tell you that today in our reading, Habakkuk reviews God's offer from yesterday, where God makes a list of five woes or five statements that are going to go after the main people who are causing trouble in Judah. And so Habakkuk today gives a review for God. Now, the first review that Habakkuk gave was it's not good enough. But today, we get a five-star review from Habakkuk. Habakkuk is thrilled that God has truly answered what Habakkuk wanted. And that was justice. That was God's full attention and action. And Habakkuk praises God for being the God he knew he would be. God is always ready to fight for those who have no voice. God is always ready to fight for those who have been beaten and struck down. God will always stand for the weak, and God will always fight for the faithful. And today, Habakkuk says, good job, Lord. Thanks be to God. And Habakkuk, again, waits for God, but this time he waits knowing that God will answer. Today in a pandemic, it's hard for us to wait because we don't know when the pandemic will end. But while we wait, though it's hard, we can wait knowing that God is with us and that God will get us through because that is what God has promised. That is what God has done in the past and what God will do now and in the future. God never leaves us. God always responds. Thank you for listening today. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you tomorrow for another edition of God's Minute. You take care, and God bless.